there, everybody. Happy Monday and welcome to Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Jennifer Broom. Okay, so we are into the dog days of summer. You know it's hot outside, but sometimes it can get even hotter inside our homes. It certainly can. So how do you keep things cool when entertaining guests or choosing home decor? Interior designer Bill Stubbs is here with the answer. You're not just Ooh. any interior hey. designer, by the way. I didn't oh, realize please. Architectural Digest named you <laughs> one of the top 100 designers in the world. Oh, my it's gosh. Such an Imagine honor. that. Yes. Yeah. Imagine right. that. So I know. clearly you know there what you're doing. mistakes made though. every day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and that was one of them, but I'm, I'm just going to go with it, right? Okay, so let's, yeah. let's start first when, with that kind of cool arrival. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, uh, you know I've had the, the opportunity to travel all over the world and experience a lot of great things. One of the things that stuck with me because of the weather we have in Houston is that, that hot, humid kind of thing. And I was doing a project in Kona, Hawaii, and I was staying at the Four Seasons Resort. Rough life for you know, for exactly. a little while. I was staying at the Four Seasons Resort. It was two and a half years. And uh, so um, when you arrived at the Four Seasons Resort, you know, it's hot and humid. And so you've been traveling for 12 hours to get there. And they arrive, you arrive with this little presentation. Wait, this little thing here? This That train? little thing. And those towels are damp and have been kept in a refrigerator. So you have this cool towel. Oh, that and is then this nice little story. welcome cocktail. Now, inside, it's hard to see at home, but there are some raspberries. I'm going yeah. for the cocktail. In I know. Some sort of uh, a little welcome cocktail. That? No, that's hard to see. There you go. You can yeah. kind of see it there. Well, oh, I'm feeling nice this and fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is, it's a little effervescent. It's nice right. and light. So and you, this can be non-alcoholic or it can be alcoholic, but it's a. wouldn't this be nice if you arrived at a party in Houston and someone had this for you? Oh and it would be lovely. I love that. This is non-alcoholic, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I knew something. Another cool yeah. thing you could do it's with disgusting. the damp towels is even add a little eucalyptus. My yoga oh, studio does that, that, and it is that. such a nice treat. I love too. that little fragrance yes. and the whole idea of that. And what I love about this, it just sort of puts things over the top. It yeah. elevates things. Yeah. It never even occurred to me to do this. Right. It's, it's, it's not that people fancy. feel special. Now, the other thing, the sofa the other thing you can do is we can sort of give our house a summer makeover. And you can do it really simple. Okay, so here's the winter. This is from my house. This is the winter pillows and the winter oh, throw. Oh, this is fabulous, by I the way. I know. <laughs> most, of us most of us have a neutral sofa. Yeah. People have white sofas you and beige sofas throw. and all that stuff. And the throw is nice, but during the summer, this seems yeah, awfully right. hot. Yeah, right. So here's Here's the makeover. So you get Lighten a couple of pillows. I mean, this is like World Market, TJ Maxx, you know, Marshalls. All of those places have all of this stuff in stock right now. Very reasonable. Bill, I mean, what's the strategy here, though? Are you just going for a, a different color palette? You're really going for one? a lighter color palette, something that doesn't feel so hot just to look at. You know, I mean, that's the whole thing. It's true. It may, you it still have a throw me. for when the AC gets a little chilly. You yeah, can, you yeah, can wrap totally. that around. Oh. I mean, I, By the way, there's a gorgeous uh, outdoor sofa. We're yeah, this, right this was all... This this, the, my inspiration is I just came from a wedding in Saint Tropez. Oh my gosh! Uh, I know. <laughs> really? Are you Bill, I want yeah. to like. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes I wonder if you just make this stuff up. I know. I do make you it up. You've been to the Four Seasons for two and a half years in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. Who yeah. does that? So, so, so I'm, I was at a, a wedding a few weeks ago in Saint Tropez, and we went to this place called Club Fifty Five, where I have never seen so many rich people in bathing suits in all my life. And it's hard to look rich in a bathing suit. But they do. They knew how to do it. They it's totally all about knew. the <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm totally. It was the Birkin bags and the and the the sheer the thing around. Yep. Yeah, yeah, all that. <laughs> and at this place, Club 55, when you sit down, they put down a bucket of ice that is all sort of sweaty on the outside, and it has rosé in it. Of rose course they do because day. you're in Saint Tropez. Exactly. <laughs> I like that. This is sort of an industrial-looking bucket. Yeah. Too. Yeah. This is not Tiffany. It's not anything right. fancy. No. This is so easy, easy to do, easy to have. And then they put this on the table which I, of course, being a Houstonian, thought it was the centerpiece. And uh, luckily, I was with some natives, some people from Saint-Tropez. And what they do is they just start ripping into this, <gasps> and it's your deconstructed salad. Oh, you can go and hit and one they, of the farmer's markets ahead of time yeah. and use it. Oh, that's a And, and they had a bowl of dressing and a, and a bowl of sea salt, and Wait, you would but, just dip But what and about, eat. like, with the tomato? How would you They had a just... knife. It's on a cutting board, oh, and people were cutting up the, thing, the pieces and handing them around. And it was just 
like the most fun thing. Cool there idea. was a baguette and the rosé, and that's all on your table. It's easy to do. It's stunning. It's a different way to do crudite. Yeah, exactly. Now, exactly. one of your tips is to fill a bowl with limes. What is so yeah. cooling about well, this? Well, I think if you in your kitchen, if you if you think about your kitchen in the winter, if you have this bowl full of limes and and it's and it's happiness. A, it's the same as flowers, but they last a long time, and so it's having something fresh in your kitchen that is green and is summery. And I have fake that lemons citrus. in my kitchen. Is yeah, that, well, that's not going to count. So that doesn't count. <laughs> no. And do you steer away from the fake stuff? No, we don't want any fake. I mean, the thing I'm with of, Bill on that. I'm yeah, like, the thing, honest. <laughs> and, the, and the thing about fruit and limes and things like that is that they do last a long time. It's not like getting some flowers you have to throw away in three days. That's true. But so, I mean, with this, this and, and so I'm putting together, if you can see, we've done, we've decorated the house. We've had this wonderful welcome cocktail. We now have this wonderful salad. This is a, a summer dinner party that you can do in a snap. I'm like, kids are going to have such a good time with and that. Then for dinner, we're going to have a kale salad. I mean, what could be more fresh oh, and beautiful than so this good. kale okay, salad? So you cheated salad. a little bit on this one, and you just got this from the grocery store. Honey, I cheat on everything. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm all presentation, no content, and uh, and so uh, <laughs> so <laughs> kind of like my personality. <laughs> there we go. There you go. And so the kale salad is from HEB, and it really is wonderful. And the, you know, the nice thing about kale is that it stays fresh and leafy. You know, if you if you had a regular salad, it would get all limp if that, you bought it true. earlier. Whereas as kale, it really has kind of a little bit of a life to it. And this is delicious. And they have two different versions of this. And so if you do this with some grilled chicken, you have a Complete dinner party meal. done. Okay, but do not forget dessert. Do not forget <laughs> dessert. And More so lime. in the summer, we're going to use our limes, or people are going to think we use our limes, and we're going to have a homemade this key is, lime pie. Is that homemade? Store-bought homemade key lime pie. Well, this actually looks homemade, though. I gotta tell you that what that I I spent I. I have mastered taking store-bought stuff and making it look homemade. That because looks gorgeous. You just added the mint to the lime? You just put it into your own I put, hot plate. I, and that is a risky <laughs> thing, let me tell you, because I bought this at Luby's because they have a delicious oh, lemon yeah. icebox yes, pie. Do. So the lemon icebox pie. But because I am all presentation, no content, I took <laughs> the tin plate from under Carefully slide it a out. lemon yeah. pie and put it into my own dish. Yeah, we got a minute left, so very quickly. You then also a, you want to put a fan fans. on the table oh, for the summer just to, just to kind of decorate this is this Where is world these? market these are so like available and then if so we do the past and then we do the present and this plugs into your phone oh and yeah you, i love yeah, these. these are so cool look at this very very cool yeah isn't that neat instant fan yeah and then, like, like I feel model. like Beyonce. So then after you've had the party and you're exhausted <laughs> and you want to give yourself a treat, this is another <laughs> Hawala Live Four Seasons treat, is that beside the bathtub they had this. Matches, a candle, a piece of pineapple, and some chocolate. Bill, and you are sink into a so cool glamorous. tub. Would that be fun? Yes, I love fun, this. Bill. You hear, Bill? Thank <laughs> you so much. If you guys want to keep up with Bill and for more info on his design services, visit www.stubs.com. Bill, thank you once thank again. Thank you so, so much. Good. Coming up after the break.